Hi there, Ignasi from VCN3D here. In this video, I'm gonna give you all of my tips and tricks for printing with one of my favorite materials, transparent PLA. First of all, I want to distinguish the difference between a transparent material and a translucent material. A translucent material allows light to pass through it, but you cannot see clearly through it. On the other hand, with a transparent material, light can pass through it and you can see clearly through it. This will be our main focus for today's video. Although it might seem strange, one of the things that most influences the transparency of a material is the layer height. When the light passes through a part, its dispersion is greater when passing through a layer change than through the layer itself. So, the higher the layer height is, the fewer the layer changes that will be and the easier it will be for the light to pass through the object in question. I recommend using a layer height of more than 0.4 mm to ensure a good transparency. For that, you can use a harden with a large nozzle diameter, preferably 0.8 to 1 mm. It is true that this will slightly decrease the surface quality of the printed part, but don't worry, with the post-processing that we will discuss later, you won't even notice. A 3D printed part is usually neither completely hollow nor completely solid. It has certain percentage of infill that gives it certain properties. This infill hinders the passage of light, so for maximum transparency, reduce the infill as much as you can. If possible, eliminate it and make the piece completely hollow. If this gives you any issues with the geometry, strength or whatever, try to reduce the visibility of the infill as much as possible. You can use the concentric infill pattern, which does not leave any mark on the surface of your part, or increase the number of perimeters so that the infill pattern that we are using does not leave any mark on the walls of our part. As we've mentioned, the closer the layers are and the brighter they are, the greater the transparency. So to achieve a shinier finish and a greater welding between layers, try to print slowly, at around 20 mm per second and at a higher temperature. There are a few options for post-processing transparent PLA, but solving vapor path is the best one. It smooths the layers to give a crystalline appearance. This can be done by using a steam polisher which helps you control the time and amount of solvent that you are applying. In case that you don't have a steam polisher, you can use a sprayer. For this second option, bear in mind you need to clean the part with water afterwards, avoid solvent build up on the part by applying only a thin layer, not immerse any hollow part in water and instead use a spray bottle, and wait at least 30 minutes to apply another coat. In any case, avoid leaving the part in contact with the solvent for more than 10 minutes and, above all, carry out this process in a ventilated and clear environment. So, to maximize your part's transparency, use a large layer height, reduce the infill, print slowly and do a good post-processing. And that's all! For more information on any other 3D printing topic, visit bcn3d.com. See you next time!